Right, <clears throat> so we have our popsicle sticks and we have a selection of bamboo skewers. I've cut the popsicle sticks, I've just cut the edges off of them and I'm going to leave it that length for the width of the um, stools. And then these are basically uh, popsicle sticks cut in half. So, what I'm going to do first off, before I use any hot glue or anything, is I'm just going to get some super glue, put it along these pieces, which are offcuts of um, the bamboo skewers. And the bamboo, unlike most wood, when it splits, you can get it to perfectly split and be flat. So, I'm actually using the pieces that are flat on one side, as this helps stick it down, hopefully. There we go. And then we'll do the same on the sides. So, I'll come back once I've stuck these sides on, and we'll carry on. Right. <clears throat> it's all glued together now. And I've gone ahead and done this side here. And one thing to check is the height of your miniature in comparison to how high the roof's going to be. I'm sticking to the standard miniatures, but I've given it a little bit more space. And the back end is, in fact, going to be higher, but we'll sort that out later. I've already cut the one for this side as well, which is the same height again. And so here's how we do it. We find the flat end, and we put glue in a line along here a bit thicker than you need it and then we push it flat with this piece and then tuck the bamboo cane inside like so now you may find that you need to add a little bit more on the inside but if it's a little bit messy on these joints, it's not really too important as we're going to put these two over here as the um, counter to the stool. Oh, I do seem to have lost one of my pieces of wood though. Okay, I'll glue that back on and we'll come back when we start the back side. Okay, so we come back to it now. I've stuck that piece on. I also noticed that the piece I glued on whilst talking to you, I'd put on the wrong way. I simply pulled that off quickly, heated up the glue again with just the tip of the glue gun and put a little bit more on and stuck it on. I'm now going to put the back ones on. I've measured them again and one thing you want to take into consideration is with the distance that you're going to have between the front and the back how far the angle is going to be. Now if of course this was up here somewhere then the angle of the roof would be quite ridiculous. So you want it only a slight angle but the thing you've got to remember as well of course is on this one we plan to actually put the beams that are going across below the spike rather than on top of it. So this size was ideal. And what I'm going to do now is the same to do in the front basically. Oh, let me just put another glue stick in. And run a bead down here. Now obviously it's not going into a corner so we'd need to make sure it was covered up a bit more. So what we're going to do is put a little off cut there for some support and then put the pillar against it or the support, whatever you want to call it. Is that the right one? Not so sure about that. No, yeah, that's the right one. Good. See, I do know what I'm doing. Honest. Now we'll just do the same on this side. And what you want to do is put the piece of wood on and then pull it back this way so that it drags any pieces that would be hidden or sorry that would be sticking out normally underneath it so when you put the supports on it covers it up quite nicely and there we go we'll come back in a second and we'll start the um, stool counter okay <clears throat> so onto the counter just to show you quickly Obviously, one thing here is I cut my lollipop licks, uh, lollipop licks, I do apologise, my lollipop sticks to the same length. And so, as both the sides are on the inside of those lollipop sticks, then these fit perfectly across to sit on there and there on the ridges. So, all I've done is 
with the first one. I've nicked out some pieces with my clippers here. And I'm just going to nick a little bit more out just to get it to sit a bit further in. There we go, see? It splits perfectly and comes off, so you only need to just cut the bottom. And that will be right, but I just need to cut back a little bit further on this side. So, I do believe that may be it. There we go. And then that sits there quite nicely. And then the second board will go behind it. So that obviously we are just going to hot glue. And then before I go on to that I will just show you. What we've also cut is some bamboo skewers which are the same as the width of the uh, stool. Some that are a little bit longer this way. We might cut those down a bit. Depends on how they are against the length of these two. But these two are the ones with also um, flattened surfaces which are going to be going glued to the sides here. So, we'll come back once I've glued this on and we'll start straight away with gluing the uh, bamboo skewers on for the roof. Okay, so on to gluing the roof. Right, the first bit we'll do is this back one as all we're going to do is put a blob on top of each one of these and sit it across them. However, with the front one, we can't quite do that, so instead, we're going to lean it this way and put one there, one there, I do apologise, I'm out of shot there, aren't I? And stick this one across here. Now, we're going to get these side pieces. And we're going to glue it under at the back and on top at the front. So, just a blob of glue there, a blob of glue there. That side down. Don't obviously touch the glue if it's extremely hot, but I knew it had enough time to cool there because my heat's on low. And then we're going to do the same this side, glue there, glue there, and then we're going to put the three supports across, and we're going to put the supports on the top of the roof because we're going to use corrugation, and these will hopefully go underneath the corrugations. So just one, two, obviously I'm leaving a lot of um, strands with the way I'm gluing, but they can all be peeled off once you're done. Or you could be neater in the first place, but it's not quite my nature. Right, so there we have the basic frame. All we need to do now is put the roof on, so we'll come back in just a second. And we're back, and here is the roofing that we're going to use. It's just a simple piece of corrugated cardboard. It's still a bit scruffy on the back, but as that's the underside, I'm not too worried. And for the amount of time it takes to peel all these off, I just must admit I'm being lazy. Okay, so here it is. And the first thing you'll notice is, of course, if we put it down like this, it's going to be skewered by the spikes. So what we're going to do is cut it all in a rough shape because of course as well if it's old corrugation it's not all going to look nice and new and flat and a perfect shape so here we go we'll just cut around a bit and see how that lines up now obviously there are some holes in it this way but, as it's meant to be an orky piece of terrain, we figure that's fine. So all we're going to do now is just run the hot glue along these beams and then push it onto it. Just running out of time. 
But there we go. Okay. So, I've now sprayed this all black and it's ready for painting. One thing that I will point out to you is uh, after I stuck it on the last time, apologies for it cutting short, but I literally ran out of time on the memory card, I've stuck some more pieces over the front just to cover up where the joins were with the glue. Obviously underneath it's still a bit scruffy, but <clears throat> this is only cheap and quick terrain, so we're going to leave the underneath. Now all I'm using is just a basic brown for the wood and then a red. I mean I'm using an actual Gaines Workshop red for mine, but only because I can't find my cheap tub and that's one of my old leftover ones that I'd got. So we're just going to fit out how much is on the brush here and then basically just do a quick dry brush effect of just drag it over a couple of times. This is also handy as any of these strands of glue that you've got left over will come very clear as they're getting caught out by all the paint. Now, see, this may take a while if you're doing it in small layers, but stick with it because trust me, the shadowing effect it gives is worth it. I will come back to you once I've done all the wood and then we'll go on to the roof. Okay, so I've painted it all brown, uh, not very darkly, I've kept it quite grubby looking as it was orcs. And now we're going to go on for the roof and we're going to go for a rust effect, which you may have seen when I was doing Oh, I can't remember what was I was painting for a rust effect. Come to your exam. Oh, the um, orc barracks. Anyway, what we're doing is a dark red colour in the first place on here. Let me see if you don't get all the black, it's not too important. But. Just try not to leave giant patches. Now I'll carry on and do this and wait for it to dry and then we'll come back for the next section. Right, well it's all dry now so we're going to go on for the next bit which is just two layers of dry brushing and that's finished. First off, I'm wrong, I do apologise. We're not doing silver first, we're doing a brown first. Good job I was paying attention, isn't it? Right, so make sure this brush is nice and dry, otherwise, of course, dry brushing won't work. So just a little bit, spread it out, and then just brush it randomly over the roof. You'll also notice with the roof that it's all become warped and bent and for some things this would be a problem, and this is what you get when you've only got the one side um, the one piece of corrugated without the backing on it but for us this is actually quite handy because it makes the roof look a little bit more old and rustic and now see the good thing is we're using the same brown as we used on the wood so if we go over the wood a little bit it doesn't really matter right there we go with that one and now we'll wash the brush off and now we do a dry brush of silver once again just a little bit on the brush and just give it a streak all over, it doesn't have to be thick patches or anything it's just showing up a rusted effect, basically the idea of when metal starts to rust it goes red uh, I'm not quite sure why, it's the rust in it, the ferrous oxide or whatever. But then you'll still get some brown pieces on it as well and a few bits that are still actually shiny metal. They're trying to hold on for the love and money, but don't quite make it. So there we go. Now we have one finished stool. And here's the final finished stool with some figures for scale. <clears throat> as we can finally see on this video, I do apologise for you not being able to see it on the other one, I didn't realise how dark the contrast was going to be. But these are the pieces I had to stick over the top of it. If I just 
lift it up and bring it closer then you can see they've covered up where the glue marks are and so this was our basic stool oh it does seem I've managed to drip some paint on it I'll clean that up later but then you can go from that idea and go through to other designs this is another stool I've done as you can see on the front it's not actually corrugated um, cardboard it's pieces of bamboo skewer which if you look on the back of it has all been hot glued on together in a line and then cut to the lengths and used as such and then we've got normal lollipop sticks for the roof of course one thing you could do is cut these unevenly as you would do um, awkward I think we've showed in previous videos if not I'm sure we will do it at some stage uh, another one we have this is the first one I've made has a piece of corrugated around the bottom of it and the corrugated on the top and then a couple of little shelves on the inside and then one final one that we did which I'm still not quite sure about I think it's a bit tall but it's this one here and now one thing I did notice if I pick up the one that we actually made then you can see there's lots of bending on the corrugated cardboard now on this one which I made before oh, on this one which I made before I did actually only super glue this top on but when I painted it and it all started to warp and such it actually lifted off at one end which wasn't a problem I just glued it back down afterwards but it definitely makes it easier to paint if you've already hot glued it on so there you go for an hour or so's work maybe we have let me just get these all into focus here four different stools all just made out of bits of scrap and cardboard and some bits of wood less than a pound to do them all and I think you'll agree they don't look too bad to be honest of course you can improve on them you can put other things you can put stools on them you could put weapons on the front of it as an orc one or whatever but there's the idea I hope it's helped you all and stay tuned for some more orc terrain take care guys bye bye